Hey guys, welcome to the Nest tutorial. So first you want to go to the Node.js directory and you want to run the command sudo forever stop all. And this is going to make sure none of your nodes are running right now. And uh, it should give you a stopped or I already stopped these before. So mine says, yep, no forever process is running. So next you want to go to the accessories folder, CD accessories. And uh, you want to type the command sudo wget and this URL. This will give me a second. I'm copying it. And here it is. Uh, you want to copy this URL. It's to the file for the Nest accessory. It's one of the first. It's the first file. Uh, we have two files. So you, uh, I'll have this command in the comments. But you want to uh, copy down this command into the terminal. And you want to hit enter. And it'll quickly get the file from GitHub. And there it is, uh, nest info sample.js. Uh, it's 377 bytes. So next you want to run sudo mv nest info underscore sample.js, the file name, to nest underscore info.js with the capitals. And when you do a ls command, it should show you the file as, as it has been renamed. So the next command you want to run is sudo wget and the second file you want to get. Uh, give me a second, I'm copying the URL. Okay, um, okay uh, here it is. And uh, this is the second file. This is actually the main file for the Nest thermostat. Um, so you just want to hit enter after you've ty uh, typed it in. I'll have this links in the description. And it'll quickly get it. And it's 12,626 bytes. Make sure. Just run the ls command to make sure. Yep, it's 12,626 bytes. And then uh, run the ls command to make sure it's there. Yeah, there it is. So next, you want to run the command sudo nano nest info.js. OK. Um, so here you can see this URL. It says get a nest pin. Uh, you want to copy that URL. Um, uh, and here it is once you open that URL. So you want to log in with your nest info. As I've done here, I've just blurred out my information. And uh, it gives you this pin code, which is, uh, this is random. This is not my actual pin code. Uh, the pin code gives you access, so you need to be careful. So you want to copy that down and put it in where the eight X's are. So in my example, it was A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So I just put that in. And uh, you want to save that file as is. And make sure you have your pin, not A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And uh, make sure uh, the file is saved successfully by using the ls command. And next, you want to open the other file. I'm sorry, you want to open the current file and ensure that the pin was correctly copied. And uh, next, you want to open the other file. And so uh, here you can see, uh, make sure the code, there's no like weird symbols and everything. Just double check, uh, make sure nothing looks funny. If it does, I would suggest you redo the tutorial. Uh, now in the question of uh, privacy, uh, the developer who made this, uh, I've been using this for almost uh, a month and a half now and I've, I haven't had any issues with my thermostat. So I'm pretty sure he's not gonna hack your thermostat or anything. So. I don't think you should be worried about that. It's just a simple APK to allow you to communicate. So just double check it once again. And uh, you want to go back to the main directory of HapNodeJS using the cd, cd space dot dot command. And you want to run this command, sudo space npm space install space node dash persist and hit enter. And so this is going to install the persist and uh, node module, which allows the accessory to communicate with node API, uh, I'm sorry, nest API servers. So just give it a few seconds to install. You can ignore that warning. And so there you can see now it's fully successfully installed. So um, to make sure it works, uh, you just want to um, run the uh, regular command uh, uh, sudo for, uh, forever start bridge core.js or Forever start, sudo forever start core.js. 
whichever one you use, uh, you just want to run that and uh, make sure you pair it on your device. Uh, look at some of my other videos on a pairing tutorial. And uh, you just want to hit enter. So uh, I hope uh, it works for you guys. Um, I don't have any errors. Uh, it seems to be working fine. It just takes a little time to load on the first time. So here's how uh, you can check the temperature on your iPhone. And there you can see it gives the current temperature. Um, so I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like the video if you thought it helped you. And please subscribe to see more videos on HapNo.js and more HomeKit.